Since 1982, EasyCam has been delivering solutions to accelerate and simplify manufacturing processes and continues to bring added value to businesses of every size. With the goal of faster production, lower cost, and a sustainable competitive advantage, we consider feedback from professional users worldwide and improve the software regularly every year. On our journey to make milling and turning faster, easier, and safer, each new release advances the user experience one step further. In this video, we will explore together what is new in the 2026 version and look closely at the concrete benefits it brings. Why should you update your EasyCam program? In a time when every minute matters, doing more with fewer clicks has become a necessity. A modern cam system not only delivers new features, it increases efficiency, reduces errors, and enables you to program complex parts faster. For a program you use every day, like EasyCam, this is even more critical. In this video, we will show not just an update, but how the new version of EasyCam becomes a real investment. We will look for clear answers to these questions. How does your workflow speed up? How do your manufacturing efficiency and profitability increase? How does your quality of life improve? And let's move to the most critical question. How do EasyCam's innovations directly help you on the shop floor? Even small changes in tool life, machining time, or programming time can make a big difference. If you are ready, let's look at these powerful features together. Next generation 3D toolpath technologies. With the release of 2026, there are serious improvements in the toolpath library. Users now have more operation choices and smarter algorithms. It includes numerous calculations tailored to different cutting strategies and the needs of complex geometry. In short, this means, where previously you could create only a single toolpath type for a given region, now multiple strategies can be engaged for the same region. You can see the best example of this in the plunging options. Smart plunge option. In the new version, this process has become much smarter. The system can now create not just a single pass, but multiple complementary passes. This keeps machining continuous and smooth, even in tight areas. The key point here is this. If a helical plunge will no longer fit because the area is too narrow, the system detects this automatically and switches to a zigzag motion. In this way, the process continues without interruption. The user no longer needs to split the toolpath manually or intervene. Everything is managed dynamically by the system. Automatic lead-in and lead-out distance from the stock boundary has also been streamlined in this version. Very important improvements have been made in entry and exit strategies that make the user's life easier. Toolpaths now start at an ideal offset relative to the stock edge. Instead of plunging directly into the part, the tool first positions safely, then begins cutting. These lead-in and lead-out points are calculated by the system. By analyzing the stock position and the tool direction, the software automatically determines the most suitable entry and exit points. The user no longer needs to worry about where to enter and where to exit. These calculations both reduce collision risk and enable cleaner surfaces. Minimize jumps. There are also improvements to Z-axis movements in the 2026 version. This is a very important enhancement. In previous versions, the tool would automatically retract to high clearance levels at every pass. This caused serious time loss, as especially in complex operations with many passes. With 2026, these unnecessary high lifts have been eliminated. Now the tool rises only to the safe distance it actually needs. The system analyzes the most efficient path for each pass and lifts only to the necessary height. This shortens tool paths and provides significant time savings, especially in operations with many passes. 3D re-roughing and rest material analysis. Regardless of the type of tool used, the system can now analyze material remaining from the previous operation with very high accuracy. Thanks to that analysis, Re-roughing and finishing are applied only where truly necessary. The system automatically removes wasted tool motions. Because it works only in the areas where stock remains, machining time is reduced significantly. Independent control of re-roughing parameters is another key enhancement.
Previously, roughing and re-roughing had to share some basic parameters. Now you can define separate plunge strategies, machining allowances, tolerances, and boundaries for each step. The big advantage is that roughing and re-roughing can now operate without conflicting with each other. New 3D Finishing Strategies There are important innovations in 3D finishing. In this release, the parallel, radial, morph, and curve projection methods have all received significant improvements and fixes. Each method has been optimized for different surface types and machining needs. Additional improvements were made to the spiral finish strategy. This method has now become a strong alternative and a standalone solution to constant scallop finishing. Thus, on complex and organic surfaces, you achieve more homogeneous machining. Undercut tool support. With the new version, there is full support for undercut tools. T-slot and lollipop cutters can be used effectively on underside surfaces of parts, internal channels, and hard to reach areas, especially advantageous for mold making, aerospace, and specialized grooves. Radius lead-in. There are also innovations regarding how the tool enters the material. Radius lead-ins allow the tool to engage the material more softly and in a controlled way. Sudden loads and wear are prevented, extending tool life. Because cutting begins in a balanced manner, surface quality increases. This method offers big advantages in machining hard materials and in high precision finishes. Spiral finish in the new version includes further innovations. It now replaces the pocket pool finishing approach with a smarter and more flexible behavior. On large areas, tool paths become more orderly, smooth, and efficient with automatic elliptical spiral transitions. By keeping scallop height constant with variable step over, surface quality is increased and machining time is reduced. Corner machining enhancements. To provide more controlled machining in regions with fine detail, multiple corner-specific pass options have been added. This lets the tool work without strain in small radius corners, helps achieve smoother surfaces, and significantly extends tool life. Next-generation automation interfaces. There are major interface changes in next-generation automation interfaces. There are major interface changes in the new release. The user interface has been modernized from top to bottom and made more intuitive. Users can now see all the information they need during operations at a glance. For example, the help graphics shown during toolpath setup make it easier, especially for new users, to understand the process. At the same time, all operation windows are now always visible. This frees the user from constantly opening and closing windows. In the past, to calculate a toolpath, select surfaces, or start simulation, you had to close the work step window. Now all these steps can be performed directly while the window is open. To exit simulation, simply double click any empty area on the screen. No need for a refresh command. 2D automation wizards now appear above the operation tree on the right side of the screen, giving quicker access to the workflow. A new button next to the tool diameter field allows the tool diameter to be set automatically based on the selected geometry. In drilling, it matches the selected hole diameter in contouring and pocketing, it uses the smallest corner radius on the selected faces. Curveless system improvements. It now supports all of the following operations, pocketing, contouring, chamfering, cylindrical surface wrapping, fourth axis machining, drilling, and thread milling. There are also smart click enhancements for thread milling. With the new release, Smart Click, our intelligent selection feature, now supports face-based selection for both internal and external form thread milling. In other words, during thread milling, the user simply selects the relevant face and continues. Open-end support has also been added in the EZ Mill and EZ Turn modules. Support has been added to generate wrapping tool paths for open edge pocket features. The system enables the tool to automatically extend and move along the open boundary, reducing the need for extra constraints or guide curves. In pocketing and contouring operations, a combine all option has been added, especially for parts with multiple pockets and protruding bosses.
All regions can now be merged and processed together in a single operation. Smart Click Improvements. It can select flat faces at the same Z level and automatically ignores blind hole bottoms. It supports wrapping by selecting faces with the same diameter. Draft and taper angles are filled automatically, reducing the need for manual settings. The top surface reference and Z depth are set automatically, increasing process accuracy. It excludes faces with negative normal vectors to prevent incorrect selections. The enhanced world on surface placement has become smarter, faster, and more useful, enabling more accurate results with fewer manual steps. Dynamic X-axis alignment. When the cursor approaches a linear edge on the selected face, the UCS X-axis automatically aligns to that edge. Thanks to this intuitive preview, users can easily see how the axis will rotate before placing the UCS and make better decisions. The system intelligently determines the positive X direction based on the cursor's proximity to the endpoints of the selected edge. Thus, without manual adjustments, the axis direction is set precisely. In screen point snap mode, when the cursor moves over a face, it locks to the model's true 3D coordinates. This makes distance measurements much more reliable and precise. Geometry copy-paste works seamlessly across layers in EasyCam modules, making it easier to transfer data between modules. The spreadsheet command can synchronize tool data across all work steps that use the same tool number. This way, tool settings remain consistent and manual errors are reduced. Alibre enhancements. For transfer operations, Transfer fixture and transfer stock are now supported. These fixtures and stock bodies can be transferred into EasyCam individually, and the incoming part is prepared for simulation according to the selected option. When using Edit Here or Edit in Separate Window in Alibre assemblies, the part is brought into EasyCam while preserving its original assembly placement. This removes the need for realignment and saves time. 